Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle and, and in, with this circle intersects a, a equilateral triangle. And at uh, the point of intersection from the point from the point to another point of intersection with the triangle, uh, the length uh, is actually nine units. And we are required to find the area of the blue circle. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to draw uh, the radius of the from I mean from the two points of this uh, circle. So this let's say this is A and this is B and this is C and this is D and E. So let us draw from A to the center and E to the center of the circle. And therefore we form a, a nine unit, I mean a triangle with the, the nine unit uh, segment as one of their sides and the radius of the, uh, the two radius of this uh, circle. Okay, so uh, next is we can actually uh, say that we need to find this uh, angle. So uh, it is given that it, this is this triangle is was an is an equilateral triangle. So this angle is uh, sixty degrees, <coughs> and uh, these lengths are actually the radius of the circle. And next is we make a review of the central angle theorem. Okay, so the central angle theorem states that the central angle subtended by two points on a circle is always going twice to be twice the inscribed angle subtended by the two points. So uh, the inscribed angle here in our case is 60. So if it will be transferred to the central angle, then it would be twice. So as per the central angle theorem. So if this is 60, then this should be uh, 120 degrees. Okay, so uh, next is we can actually draw a perpendicular bisector from the center of the circle to this uh, to against this uh, segment AE and it will be perpendicular and therefore we form two right triangles and one this segment should be this is actually 9 over 2 okay so if that is 9 over 2 and this is 60 and this is 120 then this is 60 60 degrees and therefore we actually form a 30 60 90 triangle since this should be a complement this should be 30 degrees okay so let us label this uh, a point of intersection of the perpendicular as f and since this is a 30 60 90 triangle let us recall the 30 60 90 triangle so in our case we have here this uh this is 30 so this is 9 over 2 and uh, this side is r so and this side is of of and this is e and we are we can actually find the radius okay so in a uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we have here 2 and 1 and square root of 3. This is square root of 3 is opposite the 60 and 1 is opposite, opposite the 30 degree angle and 2 is opposite the 90. So uh, we just have to uh, and say that this is for the 
3690. If we use the adjacent side over the hypotenuse for the 30, so square root of 3 over 2 is equal to 9 over 2 over r. So we can simply cross multiply, we have a r square root of 3 is equal to 9 over 2 times 2. Therefore, we have uh, 9 and r is simply divided by square root of 3, both sides. So r is equal to 9 over square root of 3. And if we rationalize, then we have this becomes r is equal to 9 over 3 square root of 3 or simply r is equal to 3 square root of 3 3 square root of 3 okay so for the final step since we already have the radius of the circle so area is simply Pi r square. The area is equal to 5 times 3 square root of 3 squared. And we have here, this becomes 3 squared is 9 times 3. Is Because this is square root of 3 squared is 3 times 9. So area is 27 by square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye